Hello, hello, and welcome to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. Today, I'm going to be talking about the more I try to restrict eating, the more I want to eat. I hear this very often, and I'm going to tell you what you can do about it today and why it's kind of happening to you. So welcome to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. If you haven't been here before, come on in. Welcome on in. Um, if you are a regular listener follower, I so appreciate you for continuing to be here. And I have to say the podcast is doing extremely well on the charts. Um, it was listed again in feed spot for 2022 as a must follow fitness podcast. Um, I think we were ranked 50 or 51. So yay, mini celebration going on over here. Um, also, the podcast has been ranking in quite a few different countries in the top 100, top 200, which again, I don't know if you realize how many podcasts there actually are, especially in the fitness arena. So um, I mean, I thank you guys for coming every single week and checking out the podcast and listening and leaving reviews and all the goodness and sharing, of course. I truly, truly appreciate that because without you guys listening, there would be no reason to have this podcast, right? <laughs> um, I do want to share a review that came in. And honestly, I'm not sure if I already shared this, but I'm going to share it anyway, again, or maybe for the first time. So Christy D, thank you for this um, five-star written review. She says, wow, what a great podcast with insightful and actionable content. This is what I've been looking for. And I love that it's more than just how to lose weight but gets into the cognitive thinking behind why I might not be at my healthiest self and the role my mind plays in that too. Worth listening to. So Christy D, thank you so much for your written review. And you're going to love today's podcast if you like mindset stuff, because we're diving in a little deeper into that. Um, if you want to leave a written review for the podcast, please do so. Go to Apple or iTunes and scroll at the bottom and it'll say, leave a written review highly recommend you write the review in your notes because once you put it in the review and you hit send, it's gone. Like if you accidentally hit send and it's not complete, it's no longer available to you. You cannot edit it, nothing like that. So write it in your notes, copy and paste. Um, and I would love to hear what you think about the podcast. All right. So let's dive into the podcast. Today, again, we're going to be talking about the more I restrict eating, the more I want to eat. So if you find yourself saying that, you know, the more you try to resist, the more you want to eat, I want to say congratulations. You are a human with a human brain. That may be somewhat comforting, but when you're in that mentality, that dieter's mentality, which is what I'm talking about, you are never going to lose weight. So if you keep thinking the more I restrict eating, the more I want to eat, that is not helping you, right? You just think it's a fact. Like I just restrict and the more I want to eat. I'm going to tell you why, why this happens. So dieters mentality is all about restricting things, especially food or sacrificing, right? Basically sucking all the fun out of life. So of course you want to eat more when you're feeling like you're restricting yourself or you're sacrificing. Our brains are fascinating. We have only tapped into about 10% of our brain power. That's crazy to think about. So like, imagine your brain is like the ocean and we've only used 10% of the ocean. That's how it is with our brains. That's probably a whole nother podcast <laughs> episode. So anyway, your primitive brain, which is your subconscious, your lower brain, thinks that sacrifice and restriction equal death. I like to look at the primitive brain as very dramatic. It's, it's very all or nothing, um, you know, death or life. That's it. There's no gray in between. Um, and initially your primitive brain may be on board. Like when you have the thought of like, oh, let's lose weight. But that's when like your best friend tells you about this new diet that, you know, they've been eating Tic Tacs at every meal or something silly. And you see the results that she's getting from doing the quote unquote diet of the day. And you think I can do that. I want to lose weight. Then you actually start implementing the crazy diet and all your natural starvation protection mechanisms start firing up. This is kind of a beautiful thing because when your, your body's going to fight or your brain is going to fight really hard to keep you alive, right? 
again, it's that all or nothing. It's like we're either dying or we're living. So your primitive brain has got to be on board with your weight loss plan. And I can tell you from working with over hundreds of women over the years, your brain will never, never, never be on board with any type of diet for the long term. You need to create the mindset to effortlessly lose weight. This is what I teach my clients. So I want you to imagine your primitive brain is very much like a three-year-old, right? What happens when you show that three-year-old a toy that they really want to play with and you tell them, no, you can't play with this ever. Like, no, that toy is off limits. Never. You can never touch that. What do you think the three-year-old is going to do? The three-year-old is going to have a complete and utter meltdown, like complete full on hissy fit, you know, on the floor, pounding the ground, kicking their feet, crying, snot everywhere. <laughs> Hope that doesn't offend anybody, <laughs> but you know how kids are, right? This is what your primitive brain is doing when you look at the food that you want to eat. And it could be just even like not really exciting food. But when you tell yourself, no, this will kick in. Your brain starts to freak out, starts to have a hissy fit. Every hissy fit is unique and different depending on you, the person who are having the hissy fit. You may be having what I like to call the ping pong conversation in your head. Should I eat this? Shouldn't I eat this? Back and forth and back and forth. You may start negotiating tactics. And if you're familiar with some three-year-olds, there are some three-year-olds that are very skilled at this. So you start negotiating going, if I eat this, then I'll have to cut here or do more cardio or whatever negotiation tactics you're going to have, or like, I deserve this now and I'll sacrifice later. No, 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 no. Just stop doing that. When you work with me, I have very, very few quote unquote rules around nutrition. And one rule is no foods are off limits. When you allow yourself to eat anything you want, you quiet down that three-year-old screaming in your head. If you've taken my Crush Your Cravings Masterclass, you know that I break this down for you inside that class. You also get it as a client too. You'll understand why you think that way. Being a generation of dieter mentality thinkers, right? All of you listening out who were born in like the late 70s, 80s, early 90s, the thought of no foods off limits will break your brain. What do you mean, Nicole? I just can't eat anything I want because I for sure will be as big as a house. Tell me I'm lying that that similar thought is running through your head right now. This is why I work with my clients on setting up their mindset for success. Yes, I give them a workout plan. Yes, we talk about food. You get, you do not get a meal plan. You do not get any counting anything. There's no dieter tactics in my programs. And even before you get to the food and the workouts and the activity, you need to get your mindset set up for success. If that is not set up, you can't progress forward and keep it off long-term. You will not lose weight permanently until you get your three-year-old brain to go along with your weight loss ideas. So if you are a listener, a um, quite frequent listener to the podcast, then you know that I like to give you something to work on each week in between episodes. So What comes up for you when I say no foods are off limits? Ask yourself that question. Write down the answers that come up in your head because all those thoughts that you come up with are the reason why you aren't losing weight in a simple, doable way. If you want help setting up your mindset for success and permanent weight loss, I want to invite you to work with me. We start off by uncovering everything that is keeping you stuck and I will teach you how to navigate and get moving towards lasting weight loss. Your first step is to schedule a call with me. Go to shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L at the end, and tell me what you've been attempting to try to lose weight. 
share with me what body you really want to live in. I will point out some blind spots that you are missing. And we're going to talk about what the experience you will have working with me. And if you are a hell yes and all in on you and the results that you say you want, we are going to get started right then on the call. So stop letting your three-year-old brain run your life and start setting your mind up for permanent weight loss success. Schedule your call today at shapeitupfitness.com slash call. And I hope you found this episode super valuable and I will talk to you next week. Have a wonderful week and remember, no foods are off limits. <laughs>